5.7 Hemi. New pistons. It's gonna be a full uh full block for overhauling. It's a new pistons right there. High mirror right here is gonna hang it onto the connecting roads. This one, the client wanted on NPR, so that's what we're doing. NPR piston with the rings, 5.7. <laughs> so, we're for Paisa, we're going to skippers. Oh, the flesh of a bit. Yeah, right there. The little arrow right there. It push the push the pin out, pointing towards the arrow. The arrow. Arrow. First step, first step, before you hang it with the rod, you have to shake the sides on the hole. Got to make the sides on it. Make sure the bore is right. There you and go. You check the gap. We're going to check the gap on it. With the filling gauge. Filling gauge. How many millimeters? Three thousands. Three thousands? Two and a half thousand. Perfect. Two and a half? Okay. Make sure we have the right gap. There you go. Yeah, with the arrow pointing up. We're gonna preheat the connecting rod so it can expand, and then it's gonna be easier to push the pin in. So we don't need no, no press. We usually do use that one, but on on a still a high quality is a uh, little bit sensitive. So we're gonna preheat the connecting rod. The one is nice and hot. We're gonna hold it in the little homemade machine that Jaime made and then we're gonna push the pin in just by, with the finger. It's gonna slide in like a hot butter and like a hot knife into butter or something. It's gonna slide in right away. You don't need no Vaseline, no saliva, saliva, no baby oil. Use your finger. It's preheated. Put them in there. And you see it? Boom. That's all it took. Just push it with your finger. If you try to put the pin while it's cold, it's, it, it won't go in. It's not gonna go in. So what we're doing is preheating it so it can, I will say expand, but it's not really expanding. Because this thing is like, you can see how thick that is. So there's no way it's gonna expand or anything. So, Get him some little heat on it. Grab the piston. And you just push it in. Just push the little pin in. Again, you don't need the press. If you use the press, you may break the piston. And then you're gonna have a problem. Yeah, you're gonna throw the pieces out of the room. So it's just better. Buy a little torch from Home Depot or O'Reilly or Satterson, anywhere you can, a plumbing. It's preheated. It's not supposed to be that hot, that, that hot, so it's preheated a little bit. It's hot, you grab it, put them in there, push the pin in. 
Boom, you see, it went in by hand. And then that's the top right there. It has to be right on the end. And then on the other one, the same, right on the end. So, it's a win-win. It's perfect, perfectly equal, you see it? Right there. And then the other side, see, right there. It has no stop, so you have to put your finger back on the other side. On the connecting rod, you want it right in the middle of the pin on the piston. Right on the middle. Okay, so you you can use the same method or the same uh, process for any other piston and connecting rod with the pin on it. It's always preheated and then just push it with the hand. So that's the first video on how to rebuild the 5.7 Hemi engine. Hanging the pistons, new pistons into the connecting rod. That's how you set it up. And then to remove it, it's really, really hard. The pin is really hard, so you do need the, uh, the press again. One ton, two tons, one and a half tons. It will do it. Just push it down, a pin down, and then to get the pin out. This one is preheated. Push the pin by hand, and you're ready to go. And now when you're hanging the pistons, it has it has their side. It has their side, right? Yes. You see a little groove from the oil right there? Those? I have the F. It's gonna go on the F as a front. You got right and so, left. So, it has right and left. So, what you're gonna do, you have the oil grooves here and the front to your right side. So oil groups up, F front as a, uh, to the right. The F on the front has a little arrow. So there's the arrow, pointing F, which is front. So always remember, your oil group right there, oil group facing up, well you have the connecting rod there, oil group, and the front to the right. So oil group up, piston right to the right front because it has left and, and right so these four those are right if you check again it's gonna be again this is the new one this is the one he is doing right now you see oil group right here on the front so all those are right that's the arrow front which is right and the oil group facing up so now this is gonna hang the other one. So this is your side right here. So now the oil thing is gonna go down and the F is gonna be painting pointing to your right. So that means that's going to the left. To the right side, oil group up and the arrow F front to the right. So, oil group and arrow pointing there. That's your right. And this one is gonna be the oil group down and the arrow pointing right. So, that's gonna be your left. I'll show you the difference right now. Stabbing it up. Flecha y la esta para abajo ya está. So those are the rights. So again, you preheat, connecting road. Push it with your finger, connecting road right in the middle of the pin, and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, now let me show you the difference. And after we bend, press, it won't come out. Yeah, see, after it's, it's cold, even if you hammer it down, it's not gonna come out. So that's how hard it gets after, when it's cold, when it's ready. Okay, so on this one, let me show you. Okay. 
Now you can tell this one it goes to the left side. Why? Because the oil groove, those little two lines going down. And now the arrow on the F is going to be pointing to my right. There you go. So that means it's going left. Oil groove's down. That one right. And then look at the other one. You can see both of the arrows there. There's one here, one here. F and F. And then look the difference. There's the oil groove right here. But it's not on the other one. Why? Because this oil groove going down with the arrow on F going to the right. I mean this one is left. So no oil groove. On this one point to the right, same direction as this one, but this one is flipped, so that one is the right side. Right side, left side. That's the first video. How to rebuild the 5.7 Hemi engine. What we're doing right now is hanging the connecting rods to the new pistons. Stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. This is video one.